Hi everyone. Before we begin, I want to tell you one thing. Don't rush to find solution to the exercises. Understand the concepts well. That is the basis of every learning. Now let's start the chapter. In part 1 we discussed what is trigonometry and some of the situations where it can be applied and hence why we study it. If you want to go through it first, the link is given here also mentioned in the description box. Hope you are all set. So let's start. Refer to the triangle ABC shown here. It is a right angle triangle and angle A is an acute angle. Side AC is the hypotenuse. Side BC is the side opposite to angle A and the side AB is adjacent to angle A. Now, if we consider angle C in place of angle A, it would be something like this. Now let's try to understand the trigonometric ratios of angle A in right triangle ABC. First is sine of angle A and it is equal to side opposite to angle A by hypotenuse which is BC upon AC. Now the second ratio is cosine of angle A which is equal to side adjacent to angle A by hypotenuse which is AB upon AC. These are the two ratios which if you remember the rest are very easy to find. Let's see how. Tangent of angle A is side opposite to angle A by side adjacent to angle A. That means BC upon AB. Now tangent of an angle is actually equal to sin of the given angle by cos of that angle that is bc by ac by ab by ac which is bc upon ab as we had seen earlier so till now we have seen that sin of an angle a is bc by ac cosine is ab by ac and tangent is bc by ab Now let's see the other three ratios. Cosecant of an angle A is one upon sine of the angle A, that is AC upon BC. Secant of an angle A is one upon cosine. Example one. We are given that tan A is four by three, and we need to find the other trigonometric ratios of angle A. Now tan A is AB by BC, which is given to be four by three. Let AB be four k and BC be three k. Using Pythagoras, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So AC square is four k square plus three k square. So AC is five k. Now we can find the other trigonometric ratios. Since sine A would be AB by AC, it will be four by five. Cos A is BC by AC, so it is three by five. Now cos A K is one by sine A, so it is five by four. And sec A is one by cos A, so it will be five by three. Cot A is one by tan A, so it will be three by four. Example two: If angle B and Q are acute angles such that sine B is equal to sine Q, then prove that angle B is equal to angle Q. Since sine B is AC by AB and sine Q is PR by PQ, we have AC by AB equal to PR by PQ. This implies that AC by PR is equal to AB by PQ. Let let's say these are equal to k. Using Pythagoras, BC is equal to AB square under root AB square minus AC square. So QR is equal to under root PQ square minus PR square. 
Now BC by QR would be equal to under root AB square minus AC square by under root PQ square minus PR square. So we can say it is equal to K into PQ ka whole square minus K into PQ whole square by under root PQ square minus PR square which comes out to be K. So we have AC by PR equal to AB by PQ equal to BC by QR each being equal to K. Thus triangle ACB and triangle PRQR similar and if in two triangles the side of one triangle are proportional sides of one triangle are proportional to the sides of the other triangle that is they are in the same ratio then their corresponding angles are equal and hence the two triangles are similar thus angle B is equal to angle Q now consider triangle ACB right angle at C in which AB is 29 units BC is 21 units and triangle ABC angle B is theta we need to determine the values of cos square theta plus sin square theta and cos square theta minus sin square theta in triangle ACB we have AC square equal to AB square minus BC square so AC is under root 29 minus 21 into 29 plus 21 since AB square minus BC square is AB minus BC into AB plus BC so AC is square root of 8 into 50 that means AC is 20 units now sin theta is equal to AC by AB so it will be 20 upon 29 cos theta is CB upon AB so it will be 21 upon 29 now cos square theta plus sin square theta would be 20 by 29 square plus 21 by 29 whole square so it will be 1 now cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 you would study later on that cos square theta plus sin square theta is always equal to 1 now let's find cos square theta minus sin square theta it will be 41 by 841 Thus, these are the values of the required Next exam In the right triangle ABC, right angled at B If tan A is equal to 1 Then verify that 2 sin A cos A is equal to 1 AB upon BC would be 1 since tan A is equal to 1. Hence, AB is equal to BC. Let's say that both of these values are equal to K, where K is a positive number. Now, AC square is equal to AB square minus BC square. So, AC square is equal to K square plus K square. So AC would be equal to K under root 2. Now sin A is equal to BC by AC. So it will be equal to K upon K root 2 and hence equal to 1 by root 2. Now cos A is AB upon AC. So it will be equal to K upon K root 2. So it will be 1 by root 2. So 2 sin A cos A would be equal to 2 into 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 which is equal to 1. Example 5. In triangle OPQ right angled at P, OP is 7 cm, OQ minus OP is 1 cm. 
we have to determine the values of sin q and cos q now oq square is op square plus qp square that means 1 plus pq square is equal to op square plus pq square now 1 plus pq whole square would be 1 plus pq square plus 2 pq so this will be equal to op square plus pq square so 1 plus 2 pq would be equal to 7 square so 2 pq is 48 and pq is 24 now sin q is op upon oq so it will be 7 upon 25 and cos q is pq upon oq so it will be 24 upon 25 now sin q would be equal to 7 upon 25 and cos q would be 24 upon 25 that's it guys have a lovely day keep watching i said kids hope you have subscribed to the channel please do so if not already and do click on the bell icon for future updates keep watching i said kids Make healthy choices in life. Keep rocking. Keep.